Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. This is another in a series of videos about mathematics. In this one, I'd like to talk about differential equations, or more specifically, why should you learn differential equations? Well, if you're in physics or any flavor of engineering, you're going to be eyeball deep in them. In fact, if you're in economics anymore, you're going to be eyeball deep in them. There's got to be a reason. Is it that people like me just want to torture people like you with mathematics? No. It may seem that way, but that's not what's going on. The short answer is that if you want to describe the world around us, you have to use differential equations. You may be familiar with the quote that's attributed to Galileo, that the book of the universe is written in the language of mathematics. And that's true. For reasons that I don't think anybody really understands, um, the world around us seems to work according to mathematical laws. In fact, if you want to get philosophical about it, to my way of thinking, that's the only really interesting question in mathematics. The rest of it is just details, um, which is what makes me an engineer and not a mathematician. That said, if the book of the universe is written in language of mathematics, well, what kind of mathematics? There's a lot of it. Well, more specifically, it's written in the language of differential equations. Now, that sounds kind of high-handed. Let me give you some examples. Let's start with Newton's law. Everybody knows how to write this, right? Even people who really don't know what it means know how to write it. My mother knows how to write it. She doesn't have any idea what it means, but she knows how to write it. Well, this isn't what Newton wrote, really. It, what he wrote was a little closer to this. It didn't look exactly like this either, but, but that, the difference is pretty much notational. See that? That's a second derivative. That's the second derivative of position. Newton's law is a differential equation. Let's pause. What is a differential equation? A differential equation That's it. That's, that's what a differential equation is. Turns out there's also something called an integral equation, which is just an, an equation that has an integral in it. But this right here, this is what a differential equation is. In order to, for the uh, equation to have a slope in it, it means the answer has to be a function, not a number. Numbers don't have slopes. Functions have slopes. So this is rule number one. Rule number two. Okay, that's the big idea. Differential equation is just an equation that has a slope in it, and the solution of a differential equation is a function, not a number. So, we're back to this. If I take this ping pong ball and drop it, and catch it again, the position of that ball as a function of time keeps changing, right? It changes smoothly in time. Differential equations are equations that account for the fact that things are changing in a smooth manner. So there's Newton's law. What's another one? Well, let's see. If you're into electromagnetism, how about Maxwell's equations? Those are, that's a system of differential equations, and it describes all of electromagnetism, which includes all of optics. If you want to study the behavior of fluids, you're going to need the Navier-Stokes equations, a set of differential equations that describe everything from the flow of air over a wing to weather to the currents in the oceans. If you want to get really big, general relativity, which describes uh, the motion of things as large as galaxy clusters, that's a set of differential equations as well. In fact, if you want to look in economics, there's a, an equation called the Black-Scholes equation that's a partial differential equation that describes the behavior of options and derivatives. It's so important that it was the uh, basis of the 1997 Nobel Prize in economics. So, what we got here is that we know that the, the book of the universe is written in the language of mathematics, but more specifically, Almost all physical law, and I, I have to say almost because there's got to be some exception, but apart from maybe 
quantum mechanics, I don't know what that exception would be. If you're an engineer, the physical laws you use day to day in your career are all written in differential, uh, in terms of differential equations. If you're studying economics, or maybe more specifically econometrics, you're going to be working with differential equations absolutely all the time. The reason we want you to learn differential equations is they are so central to how the world works. If you don't know how differential equations work, you lose a very, very important tool for describing the world around you. The more you know about how to describe the world around you mathematically and to make predictions, the more valuable you are to a potential employer. The more valuable you are, the more you're going to get paid. And it turns out you can buy stuff with money. So, learn differential equations, make more money. How's that? Hope that helps. We'll talk to you next time.